so welcome guys so in this video we are going to tell about how you can install and use the battery status plugin you are not done uh, Cordova before it's completely fine because you will learn here Cordova from scratch so first of all you have to go in the command prompt if you are having the if you are having the Cordova on your system just open command prompt and go to the D colon I have already created a demo folder on the uh, D drive so just go to the uh, D drive and after that we have to create a uh, Cordova base project so just write Cordova create uh, after that your project name we are going to work with the battery just write battery that makes sense battery io dot Cordova dot hello Cordova and after that your app name battery app okay and press enter and it will show you the, that uh, creating a new project right so as uh, go, let's let me go to the this pro folder and uh, here you can see here we have a new project of the Cordova right so uh, that means we have created the Cordova project and let and change directory to the battery uh, now we are in the Cordova project now we have to add the platform we are going to work with the Android so we will work uh, with the Android if you are uh, happy with iOS you can do it just add the platform write Cordova platform platform add Android now you can see here <coughs> Android is building so it will take some time to add the Android on your uh, project this is your project and here is the platform and uh, here it will add the Android and now adding the Android project now you can see here android is successfully added in your uh, project so now so we have to add the plugin battery plugin to add the plugin just write cordova cordova plugin add cordova hyphen plugin hyphen battery hyphen status and after that press enter write this one and it will add your uh, add the plugin into your the system make sure you have connected your uh, computer to the internet because it will download the plugin from the cordova uh, dot io dot cordova website and once you have added the cordova uh, plugin on your uh, on your uh, project then go move to your www folder index.html just make some changes on this folder okay open this one and uh, make your changes that uh, you have to write here my first code app okay so just I have made the changes my first code app and in the index.js the means of that I have to change here right on the on device ready function I have to add some uh, lines like that windows windows dot add event listener and uh, in the add event listener we have to just battery status function on this function it will call on battery false right this will add it means when your android will boot your window will boot add event listener that means a event will occur then then after that this function will call and we have to initialize this function on the uh, listen window then function on uh, battery 
and after that just initialize the function on the battery function just write some alert message that uh, that alert message so on your v8 battery level is battery level is just you have make sure you have passed here uh, info argument because it will accept some uh, argument and after that info dot level plus uh, plugged is plugged and uh, just plus info dot is plugged right and once you have done this and uh, just save this code and uh, now I have to build the Android just write Cordova holds Android and it will hold the Android it will take some time to build the Android okay now it is done so it is successful you got a successful message and uh, it is adding more details about the Cordova projects now yeah you can see here you get a successful message on the window that would successful now the next job you have to make and now you can see here the apk is created apk has been created on your uh, this folder demo platform android that means in your platform device the apk has been created so just and now just write cordova emulate android it will open your virtual uh, window where your output will going to display whatever app we have created on that and it will display on your application so to booting your android it will take some time to boot uh, now with this time your app is going to boot now as you can see here your virtual uh, mobile phone has been displayed and it will take some time to boot because this is very uh, high-end process and take some time it is booting up of you can see here my device is successfully booted and now uh, it will install the application whichever ha which I have created here and it will show your status here and okay install success launch success it will launch and it will show use the battery status and it is it yeah right battery status is level 100 because you can see in the battery it is showing 100 percent and uh, is plugged yes true because i have plugged this my laptop to the charger now it will show you the uh, masses like this so i hope you guys understand uh, how can you add the battery status plugin thank you for watching have a good day